better tomorrow for pan. What do we need to address? We need to address plenty self. Because there are a lot of people in this steel pan world who think that, you know, the things that they know in pan belongs should stay with them alone. And even trying to make the adjustment, a lot of people feel that um, we, we don't want to move with time. We don't want to move with, with the change in our time. And I think the instrument is old enough where now we can have a standardized set of instruments. Um, I think they say it took maybe a hundred years to standardize the piano or something. We're supposed to learn from that. So we don't have to take a hundred years to standardize the instrument. All we have standardized it to a certain point where we use a lot of fourth and fifth instruments, but we haven't totally um, completed on that because if you move from one band to the next band, is the, the, the notes shift or the, or the notes in a different orientation, these kind of things. We still had to work on that. Um, I know some bands still holding on to their traditional style. We're taking too long. I think we maybe we have it with where the tenors is concerned that a lot of people choose the fourth and fifth is a difference between a high or a low fourth and fifth tenor. We we need to, to, to make a decision. Right now, Pan is still a work in progress. It is for me not a hundred, hundred percent. It could be ninety percent. I mean some people may say it's a hundred, but I, I wouldn't say that. We need to standardize the instrument so that Pan to our people could just go from school to school and not having a problem, especially in middle pants. In middle pants is where the problem is most. You play in a, a, a tree cello, you say that you want to walk behind a pan and play. You want to look to see if it's the same style, you had a song of the pan first. No, it's set up the right way and you play. So I think that standardization is one of the things that we need for this pan, for we to have a better tomorrow where pan is concerned. thinking about that better tomorrow for the longest while. I have a group of young people now. I have one of them who's a leader for, the, for, for them, which is uh, Shaquille asking. You know, looking at Shaquille, and he may be in the band for maybe more than five years, six years. He would have been in the band when he was in Form 1, Form 2, whatever, in success. And he would have done CXC and now he has a certificate in music at the University of the West Indies, St. Augustine campus. And um, he's seeing music in his future. And if he's teaching or whatever, or is it being a, an arranger or whatever, he's seeing that. And he he working on it. The music wasn't really a career path for him, but it is now. We try to provide his environment so that if music is an avenue, you can take the avenue, right? So, a better tomorrow. So he sees himself having a better tomorrow, being part of a band Unicells on Highlanders, and using the steel pan as a tool to make and develop a better tomorrow for him, right? Because when he started, he wasn't 100% in the music, and you know, he, he had promise. He had skill and everything but as you grow as years go by and everything you know i think he is seeing a better tomorrow with the pan in mind and being a, a musician or a teacher or whatever at the end of the day you know he using that to transform his tomorrow you know the music and i'm happy to see that because in all the time you would see that eh? and all the time a parent would agree with you to go into music as a career and um, we are happy to be here just to influence him and to support him in that journey you know and all his other peers too as well you know seeing the young people under you develop they will be better than you to be better than than you as a person, as a musician, then you, you accomplish something. People just feel that like that is bad if one of your students are better than you. 
then that is a student's relationship, all you know, plus what he know. And they move on and just scream, just working towards that. He will spend a lot of time there at the panel with the young people to, you know, get, to develop them as good players, good people. You know, seeing that that music working for them, you know, and um, they can make it a career and make it something, you know, and um, and maybe not not being into music, but with the influence of the music, giving them that that discipline to do better things or, or have a better or have a different look into where they wanted to be and where they could be, you know where this unique instrument has been invented right here in Trinidad and Tobago and it has a certain aura about it in terms of how it brings people together, how it's something we're sitting on here that I don't think we even know. number one university in steel band is the Panyard. I don't know if it's, it's continuing to be like that, but the steel Panyard is where you should go to get that knowledge. Because the Panyard kind of gives you that discipline and that respect too. And you know, it develops you into a different person and a different outlook towards life. So, you really do understand the value and the, the social aspect that Pan brings or Panyard provides, right? It draws you in and it keeps you there. And then there's so much the grown-ups and the seniors that exist in the yard. I mean, they don't even know that they're really influencing the youths and them, right? right? And there's a discipline too as well, to be part of the, the whole experience. You had to be disciplined in the music and these kind of things. So. That transcends too as well, so it, it affects your, your attitude. I find the panniers now, they had to upgrade into a different social space. The panniers long, long ago would have been, you come to the panniers, you learn your music, you, you develop that discipline and that respect. But I think the panniers now had to just broaden a little bit and they're just teaching you music, but it has to, deal with some social aspects and some aspects of um, learning how to, as a, as a leader, as a captain, as a manager, to deal with some of these social issues that come in, into the panyard. I always think that society misunderstands that a lot because it could, the panyards could be upgraded and pushed into a certain space that could take on some of these social challenges, you know, but it's often overlooked. A lot of people in communities want to send their little child to play pan, but they say they don't want to send them by the pan yard because of the things that they see happening at the pan yard. So we first need to, the pan yard to be looking invited. We, we way past the wall that's not properly well painted, the roof leaking, we way past that. So your, your, your infrastructure needs to be properly well, you know, organized. Your, your pan yard or your, your pan theater, we call that with the name of pan theater, you need to have, it again, welcoming and somewhere we could go to learn. Have, you know, technology. So you come to the pan yard, technology, you could go on by a computer and punch in and on that computer, you have the history of the, the band, the, even the history of the community. Right, because the history of the community is also important to the, to the steel pan, the history of pan. Where is the, where's the classroom? Who learning to tune pan? Who learning music theory to teach? Who learning other instruments? Somebody might want to know, so if I want to further pan, how that's supposed to be really available at your pan yard, right? So it's a, a lot of different things. And again, it's not just pan, if you want to to be a, a singer, whether it's a Calypsonian, if you want to, to, to learn music, they at the panyard, it, everything at your fingertips. So the panyard is supposed to be that school, that university that it is, 
in the proper sense of the word university. Fire in the soul, burn away a desire not to turn away. Gifted talent, use it, you and me. Lift it up on music, show the world TNT. Just be a believer for a brighter new future. Just be a believer for a brighter new future. We.